Alright guys, in this After Effects Beginners tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the basics of motion tracking. At the end of this video, you'll be able to make something that looks just like this. I think it's a really cool effect that can spice up a video or an animation you're making. So without further ado, enjoy! Honey. Once you open up After Effects, go ahead and create a new composition. Name it anything you would like, but I'll be naming it Motion Tracking. And then just click OK and copy down these settings. As you click OK, just go ahead and pull out your test footage and make sure your test footage is the same dimension as what you set your composition settings to, or else this will not work. Alright, so once you put your footage in, just go ahead and click the layer and go to Animation and then click Track Camera. After you've done that, it will start to load, so I'll be back when the loading is done. After you've done that, a 3D camera tracker will be applied to your test footage. If you don't have this tab open, just go ahead and click Window, and then click Effects and Controls on the right here. So all you want to do after you select a 3D camera tracker is you'll see a bunch of little colorful points everywhere. So all you want to do is just scroll through and find a good place to put text on. So I think this is a pretty good place for me to put text on. And then near the points, you will find a lot of things just like this. So all you want to do is find somewhere where you want to put text on. So I kind of want to put my text on like on top of this ship. So probably around here. This seems really perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to click here. And all you want to do is right click. And if you want to put a text, just go ahead and create text in camera. So yeah, I'll just be clicking that. And then it will create a new text. At first, it will look really weird and everything will be just everywhere. So all you want to do is just change the text size. So all you want to do is control it like right here. And then you can also change the like positions and orientations by just clicking this gear icon right here and clicking transform. And you will see all the uh, options right here and you can play around with it to see where you want to put your text on. So I'll be back when my text is done. Alright, so I think my text is in a pretty good position. So right now, we're going to go ahead and preview what we have right now. Alright, so as you can see, the text is actually following the ship and I think it, it looks insanely cool. Although it looks really cool, I think there's one thing missing and that's shadows. All you want to do is select the text layer, just go ahead and hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the text and then put text to under text. Now all you want to do after that is again, open up the gear icon and open up transform. And then you want to play around with the settings so the text kind of just looks like this. And then you just want to play around with the orientation uh, at the very left one. And you just want to play around with it and it will start looking like this. And then after that, just go ahead and pick really darker colors. So I'll be picking like around gray, a very dark gray and then click OK. And then after that, just go ahead and hit T on the keyboard while pressing the layer text 2. And then it will show up a opacity tab. After that, just go ahead and decrease the opacity like that. And it should be looking pretty good. Now to the final step, all you want to do is select the text layer again. Go to effects and presets and then search up Gaussian blur. After you've done that, just drag that Gaussian blur onto the text 2. And then just go ahead and increase the uh, blurriness until it looks pretty good, in your opinion. Alright, so now that we've got that, I think we have a pretty good looking shadow now. And we can go ahead and preview what we have. Alright, so I think we've got a pretty nice text motion tracking. And I think it looks really, really nice in my opinion. Um, there are a lot more ways to do this, but this is what I usually do. So make sure you comment down below if you know any other ways to help people out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.